this is where we're at right now with hair growth. It's not cute. Everybody keeps saying it's cute and it's so not cute. This is very mushroomy. So I think it's probably time to get a haircut maybe. If you are new here, I'm Amanda and I make videos documenting my life as a single, child-free, 43-year-old living in Seattle. On the flip side of going through treatment for a very rare cancer diagnosis, extra ovarian primary peritoneal carcinoma. These are just normal everyday life videos as an artist, creative content creator, and lover of a really good home DIY project who just so happens to also be recovering from cancer. In this video, it is officially six months post chemo and this is my hair. It's a fluffy McFluffer and I have no clue what to do with it. So we are going to talk about that going viral on Instagram. And I'm also gonna be making some fire cider and oregano oil to help boost my immunity a bit over the coming months. So I hope you sit back, hang out, grab some tea, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I heard that months three to six are not the easiest. So yeah, let's um, but let's just celebrate that I even have hair because you know I was like this. All right, I did get some headbands to start wearing. I think I'm just about just about there now. That one's kind of cute. I do feel like I need to go get my hair cut and get it trimmed up in the back a little bit. It's just kind of like, feels like a fuzzball everywhere. So I have these ones and then I did get these littler ones that are pretty cute. So I'm not so sure how I like the bangs right here, but once they're long enough, they'll be tucked back too. So I like them. I think they're cute and they make me feel like I have a little bit of a style going on. I have been fighting a cold all week long and today is the day that it finally decided to hit me. I have a little bit of a fever, not a fever, I don't have a fever, but I just feel like I do. My throat hurt this morning really bad and now I kind of have a runny nose, but it's not as bad as it could be. Are you done? as it could be it could be a lot worse I did do a lot to try to mitigate the um is mitigate the word I think it's the word but try to lessen the severity of it hopefully it doesn't get any worse than this but I just got home from coffee a coffee date with some friends Whoop. and it was really nice. I just realized how much I need that and I don't do that nearly enough. Two friends, one of them I haven't even seen since December and the other one, last time I saw was on my birthday about six weeks ago. And even that was like the first time in a really long time. But we're all busy, we all have lots of things going on and moral of the story is that I just realized I should be doing that more often. But this has actually been a really, really great week because I have pretty much canceled all my plans other than this coffee date because I was not feeling well. I was feeling myself starting to get sick. And yeah, I just, I've been working in my shop all week and getting all my stuff done and it has been so life-giving. Just, I feel like I've gotten so much stuff done. So it's making me think a lot about what I want to do uh, moving forward and yeah more on that to come this is like the worst lighting possible i want to have a conversation that for me is really important i have a reel going viral it's like quasi it's not even quasi viral it's going viral it's like at almost three million people right now so it's a reel on instagram and it's of me painting my bedroom the checker border and the amount of hate i'm getting for this decision is mind-blowing and people are just so rude. Never in a million years when I go onto somebody's social media or YouTube channel and leave a negative comment. Unless 
like I wouldn't even leave a negative comment that's just not something I would do yeah I, I, it's just like it blows my mind how many people think that it's okay to voice their opinion about a decision somebody else made pertaining to their own life that harms nobody and so that's been like well that wasn't shocking I've gone viral a couple times and have had mean comments before second <laughs> The amount of people in these comments that have called me he, like assumed I was a boy because I have short hair, is also frustrating and sad and not for the reasons that you probably think. Like I really don't care if somebody thinks I am a boy. What bothers me is the lack of attention people are putting out there or uh, effort to figure out who I am instead of just like literally one click onto my profile you will there's many things that give it away a my name i mean sure there could be a male named amanda i have never met somebody two i have my pronouns she her so there i'm literally telling you what i identify as three you could go through my previous posts and you can just see that i am female um, or at least female presenting. With that being said, it's, it's mind blowing how many people just say he instead of they. Like if I was uncertain of somebody's gender, I would automatically say they instead of just drawing some conclusion by their physical appearance. People, do better. You know, it's 2023 and it doesn't matter what you want people to be what matters is what they identify as i just have short hair right now because i went through chemotherapy and unfortunately i have to go through this horribly awkward weird short hair phase but there's a lot of women out there that choose to have short hair because they love it i do not love it i am so excited to continue growing up my hair i do not like this phase in the grow out process what happens when you live in a very progressive city but it's like we are all our own individual people we get to decide what is best for us we get to decide who we are we get to decide how we want to present in the world and that's my opinion so i'm gonna go eat lunch and i'll be back so every year i make ornaments to sell last year i made little versions of my mountain rounds so this is one of them for this year is going to be another one so this is like a, a bright blue this is a little bit lighter of a blue fine but this is a green and then it is wrapped in a leather i can i can do them leather free it'll be edge banding i'm also this is one i did two years ago i'll make a small bit of these ones as well so I am opening up on my website, well it is open already, um, a pre-sale because it does help me if you pre-order them and then I can just start making them and shipping them out even though I know it's the middle of October. <laughs> but if you're interested, that is really helpful for me because I will only have so many that I can do uh, in the next few weeks and for the first week of December I'm going to be out of town. So, uh yeah so i'm just gonna go in and get these photographed and up on my website so i can open up pre-orders and hopefully gauge how much i need to make and then reserve a few for an art gallery that i have my art up in and then i am also doing another art installation for the month of december at a place and they want some or ornaments and then i'll have to bring some to the like two or three markets holiday markets that i'm going to do yeah so if you want yours make sure you go and pre-order them so i know <laughs> I'm 
so tired, but I really want to make fire cider and I went to the store and got all of the ingredients and I have the recipe right here. If you're not familiar with fire cider, it is... Here's actually a little one that I bought um, at a store and I just take about a teaspoon a day. Um, and when the cold and flu season here, I want to make sure that I'm on top of it and just also regaining immune function post chemo. I'm also going to make um, some oregano oil just to help because oregano helps with immunity as well. So I got oregano and you just put it with olive oil. You can put it on scrapes and cuts for topical use, but you can also ingest it. Um, you can use it in cooking. It's literally just olive oil and oregano that's sitting overnight or for a couple days. So one of my goals is to get into making a lot of stuff on my own again. I love herbalism and just holistic health. And just for the record, I am in no way, shape or form. Hey, monster, what are you doing? As I was saying, I am 100% pro Western medicine, obviously, but I do believe in incorporating a lot of holistic things too, um, especially when it comes to just building immunity um, and maintaining immune health. Hey, get your fuzz about day on here.
here's my first batch of Fire Cider. It's such a beautiful color. Oh my goodness, I am so excited. So now you just let it sit for up two months and you shake it, um, like turn it over every now and then. It's kind of leaking a little bit. And I should be able to start using it in two months. So I'm really excited. And then my oregano oil. I'll probably let it steep for a couple days just so it's really potent and then I'll put it in like a dropper and use it in my cooking and on salads and stuff like that just to give me a little boost. I feel like so good making this stuff. I'm so happy and so it feels really good to be getting back into it and especially going into the fall and winter. I don't know, it just, it just feels so like comforting and cozy to be making more things on my own. I'm going to wrap today's video up here, and if you haven't already, subscribe, like, thumbs up, do all the things, and I'll see you next time. Alright, bye!